Studiation right a look together starting off with some foundation followed by some loose powder underneath my eyes and then I'm using a contrast stick to structure my face and blend 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 guys let me tell you this look is so loud I would never do it if not for my page but the girls gotta do what she gotta do anyways I'm gonna go ahead and use some blush to make me look more rosy rosy and use some black eyeshadow to fill my brows and then I'm going to use a concealer to give it a more defined shape and make it look more snatched. Yes, that looks snatched now. Then I'm going to go ahead and start off with an orange eyeshadow over my crease and keep blending. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a brick red color on the orange eyeshadow and don't stop blending. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop in some green on the outer corner of my eyes and don't stop blending again. Finally going on with some black eyeshadow and smoking it all out. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease and yes that looks sharp. Now I'm going to add some highlighter so that my cut crease keeps shining. And then we're going to do my eyeliner and that is on point. Yes that is on point. Finally adding the brick red on the lower lash line followed by some mascara. And then I'm gonna brush off the excess powder of my face and we're gonna do my favorite part yes that's highlighting and then I'm gonna go super bold with the lips and put on some red 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 lipstick and that's super dark popping on some lashes and boom that's your bread for the day go on some proposals haha <laughs> I'm kidding don't Let's do the Korean bridal look together, starting off with some foundation followed by filling my eyebrows with a dark brown eyeshadow and further defining it with a concealer. Oops. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply a brown eyeshadow on my lid and blend it all over and using a white eyeshadow to blend it further. And next I'm gonna use a black eyeliner and draw a small wing liner on my eyes and further define it with an eye pencil. And then I'm gonna do my mascara and do my blush for the rosy effect and then I'm gonna take a lip pencil and draw a small dot on my lips and blend it with my fingers for the natural effect and coat it with a lip gloss and use the same lip pencil to draw two small circles on my cheeks because culture and boom that's your Korean bread for the day to the possible bridal look together which is a thousand year old tradition and it's all about symbolic shapes and colors and these three golden circles represent three different phases of life which are bound to each other through golden paths and these blue dots they represent a happy and a healthy family while the red ones represent fertility and guys let me be honest this was the most 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 difficult look to pull off but I think I I'm in love with this look. The patterns and everything look so fascinating to me. And by the way, not gonna lie, I did use a bit of eyeshadow on my eyelid because I could not resist. Next, I'm gonna do my brows, which are not the regular brows. They are made of spangles. So I would like to call them spanglish brows. Yes, they're on point. And boom, that's a close of a bright for the day. Let's do the African bridal look together, starting off with some foundation, followed by filling my eyebrows with a dark brown and black eyeshadow. And next, I'm gonna use some concealer to define my eyebrows and blend, 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 blend. And next, I'm gonna 
use some loose powder underneath my eyes and use a contour stick to structure my face and blend it all over after that i'm gonna brush off the excess powder and use a maroonish purple eyeshadow on the outer corner of my eyes and blend it towards the inner corner and blend 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 and next i'm gonna use a concealer not to cut my crease but to make some space for the beige eyeshadow now i'm gonna blend this beige eyeshadow with a maroonish purple one and next i'm gonna do my eyeliner which is gonna be a cat eyeliner because Africans like it that way and next I'm gonna do my mascara Next I'm gonna do my lips where I'm gonna overline my lips because I have smaller lips and Africans usually have fuller lips and next I'm gonna use a beige lipstick to create that ombre effect and next I'm gonna use a concealer to give that uplifted look to my lips and blend it after that, I'm gonna pop on some lashes and do my blush for the rosy effect. And next, I'm gonna do my favorite part, highlighter. Yes, we love it. And I'm done. And boom, that's your African bright for the day. So let's do the English bridal look together. I have my foundation on, so I'm doing my brows and defining them with the concealer and baking my under eyes. Next, I'm gonna apply a light brown eyeshadow on my eyelid, followed by a dark brown eyeshadow on the outer corner and blend it all over. Next, I'm gonna add some shimmer on the inner corner and then I'm gonna do my regular winged eyeliner. After that, I'm gonna do my mascara and use a white pencil to make my eyes look bigger and next i'm gonna bronze my face blend 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 and then i'm gonna do my blush the rosy rosy effect and then i'm gonna do my favorite part the highlighter and after that i'm gonna do my lips i'm using a light brown lip liner and then I'm going to pop on some lashes. And boom, that's your English bread for the day. Thank you for watching.